Yo, what's up everybody? I'm about to help you guys out if y'all just watching this video. This is Here Comes Your Death from Brotherhood Gaming and this is 2K20, the demo version only. But this right here is going to help you guys out for any of you guys that want to be a lockdown for, you know, this upcoming game that's dropping September 6th. Just leave a like if you can and also subscribe on this video. Let's get right into it. So yeah, everybody, as you can see, you see this build right here, multi-position defenders. All right. And as you can tell, my takeover is a pure lockdown. You either become either a glass or you become a lockdown. I chose lockdown because I don't want to be a glass because this ending besides this whole video is just to show you the best lockdown build in my opinion. I already played a game with it. So hopefully you guys play a game with this too try it out and if you guys like it try to use this in 2k20 if y'all don't y'all gonna see another video of me you know i hope you guys out once again with another best lockdown build coming soon when the actual game releases we're gonna be trying out more in different builds even with this demo so you guys are gonna see a lot of videos coming soon but let's just focus on a purely based lockdown build let's get right into it so we just gonna you know skip to this we just gonna skip to the actual like you know scene so just give me a minute and we're gonna actually get into it okay <clears throat> so yeah um this is what we're gonna do for your skill breakdown you want what you want to use is go all the way back down here and choose defense right here you see all you see that it prioritizes defensing ah, my bad it prioritizes defense and rebounding so this is what you want to do at first I mean, it hurts you in other categories like playmaking and shooting and then somewhat in finishing. But I mean, all that changes anyway because of what I'm going to do next. So no matter like how it looks like right now, it might look good and decent. You can't even choose, for example, all these points that you have right here. When they, they're going to, at the end, at the very end, they're going to make you choose like, they're going to give you like 409 points. 409 points will not give you all of these. So it doesn't, it wouldn't even matter. Honestly, it wouldn't. But choose this. All right. Now for physical profile, we're gonna go down to which one did I choose? We're gonna go down to this. This one is decent. It's even. All this is even. Uh, strength is gonna go up or down depending on what height that you're gonna use, and vertical will go up or down depending on what height what height you use, especially with speed and acceleration. But no matter what, your character is always gonna be slow. Okay, your character is always gonna be slow, and he's always gonna be Gatorade. I played a game with. I played. I already use this. I already use this build. So acceleration and speed, you get tied easily, no matter what. So even if you're like 85 or above, it doesn't really matter. At like two quarters or three quarters, your character's already tied. Even in five minute quarters, your, your character's gonna like be drained. So no matter, it just doesn't really matter. But at least, at least they're even and it's fair for all of them. So let's continue. Choose this. All right. So you want to max defensing defensive rebound and so let's do that let's max it all out that's what we need at first all right now this doesn't really matter but i'd rather finishing let's max this out too hold on let's max these out uh i guess you could just put this at a 60 Honestly, a free throw could be at 54. It's just gonna make it. It's gonna make it so that like, oh, you either you can you have a chance at making it, but then again that you don't. So I mean, it, at most I put I put mine at like 50, I put mine at 60, I believe. This is at 51, of course. This is at 50. This is at 50. This is at 51. All right, now we can get over here. 60. 65 I put this I still got more points right yeah post hook 51 I'm just having it even just like that so I could use this on other things like this uh, put that right there and let me see driving okay I'd rather this so this will be perfect for you I mean if you want you could decrease this but you could decrease because you're not really going to be in the paint like that anyway. 
and you're not really gonna do post moves so you're not really much of a post score so let's just take this down by one and just put it on to like things like we could add it to driving and we could add it to close shots and we could put if you want if you want you could just put it to pass accuracy but i wouldn't do that because you're not really going to be like having the ball in your hands as much so if you really want to do if you really want to put some work in like if you want to do something on offense since you already maxed the shooting and you maxed the yeah since you already maxed the shooting out and all that i say you could just put it on any of the finishing attributes it doesn't really matter to so like for example i could just put on like close shot since i wanted to be you know as close to this mid-range shooting so for like close shots i'll put it to like a 67. so that's fine so this is what this is how you should have your, your stuff set up from defensing playmaking shooting and finishing you should have it all set up like this this right here is perfect for you right now it's like right now these are your attributes i think these are your caps for now but it's, it's going to raise depending on your height and your wingspan and your weight and this will this will differ to your physicals but your badge upgrades will not change at all it won't change i did uh this doesn't really matter it doesn't really, you know change anything about it just shows what your body type is i did built because it just looks better but anyway um six six and six seven isn't i mean six seven doesn't really do much for you it doesn't change anything as you can see but like i was telling you guys earlier going up it changes a lot going up changes a lot first off your physicals go down the only thing that goes up is your strength like i said strength is a good thing for a lockdown it helps people not like you know just get by you that easy like you're a brick wall type shit and then like it's harder for people to back down on you because you're stronger but it doesn't really matter at this point because you even if you try you first off you can't even you, in 2k19 you can be 610 you can't be 610 now as a small forward you can't be a 610 so so being tall it affects you crazy first off your vertical is going to go back down your, your speed is going to make you even slower and your acceleration is going to make you go slower so in this case i say be a 6-6 lockdown only because i feel like if you're short in 2k19 i said 2k19 my bad 2k20 you'll do better because as you can see this is okay if you want to be 6-7 be 6-7 i personally chose 6-6 because I get more vertical, I get more of a vertical, I get more, you know, acceleration and speed, so I won't be tied that easily. And my strength doesn't really affect me that much. Only goes down by like three. I'm still good in the strength area. Now on to defense. Uh it helps me out. I get better in perimeter. I get better in lateral quickness and better in steel. So yeah. And my ball handling moves up a bit as well. Even though it doesn't move up by that much, it still moves up a bit. My three-point shooting improves. My driving dunk improves. Standing dunk, okay. I'm not like I said. I'm not gonna really be in the paint like that. I'm really be driving in. So yeah. Let's continue. For weight, I did 224. It doesn't really hurt me that bad, as you can see. My strength goes right back up, so it doesn't really you know bother me. Only thing that decreases here is my acceleration and vertical, but as you can see, it's still the same. And it's well, it isn't really the same, but it still looks okay. So I can accept that and deal with it. it doesn't bother me. Only thing I really need to improve in really is my defense and my attribute-wise, which I did improve. Only thing that hurt me was lateral quickness, but as I said, it didn't hurt me by that much. So let's continue. My wingspan. For my wingspan like i said it doesn't really it hurts me in the strength it when we go it made me go down by two but it also hurt me in shooting you see my shooting i was just at a 50 in my cap now i'm at 49 i did this i maxed i put it at an 85.6 this is decent my my physicals went down by only one in strength wise also in my mid-range shooting it didn't really hurt me that bad it's fine i can still deal with this because i'm not gonna be good at shooting anyway because i'm a lockdown defender i'm not a shooter so it doesn't really it's not gonna hurt you that bad so but if you care about it i mean you could decrease your wingspan but that's gonna hurt you in your blocks and steals which you don't want you want your steals and blocks to be at least that good which mine is 94 and a 95 so that's okay by me i'm not really i don't feel that type of way about it it's decent and then last but not least you can either be a glass cleaner or a lockdown defender in this case you choose lockdown if you want to be a glass cleaner go ahead by all means if you want that's that's on you but this whole entire video is for you to choose a lockdown and i'm complete and that is it look at this
you have built a multi-position defender and the similarities of Sean Marion, Paul George, and Jimmy Butler. Alright, so I think that's it. If you guys enjoy the rest of this video, please leave a like and subscribe and share this out, please guys. And comment below if you too find this to be a great build. If you have any other ideas of what we should do next, just let me know, okay? Hope you guys have a nice day. And this was Here Comes Your Death from Brotherhood Gaming. Peace.